What's up, Block fam? Here in Magnolia Park today, and joining me, we have Captain Anna, Spec Ops, <laughs> <laughs> Sleazy5000, her husband, Aaron, dang, and we got Laurel, at Rip it Laurel. You guys be sure to go give all of them a follow. Screen names right there on the screen. Today, we are doing a kind of sportster face-off because a lot of you guys have asked me for this episode comparing a bunch of different sportsters to one another. So this is basically, they're all Harley Davidsons. They're all the sportster family. But the biggest differences between them, in addition to ergonomics, is the engines. So we've got a pretty wide array of sportsters here. We've got my OG, which is a 1275 Hammer, 111 horsepower sportster. Then the next after that, we've got the giveaway, which is being shipped out tomorrow by the time you guys see this video it should have been delivered to lloyd who is the winner of this bike for season five if you guys want to get in on season six we're giving away a road glide brand new road glide and a honda rc51 details down in the description below click the link go to blockheadmoto.com to sign up for that next step down we've got sleazy's or aaron's custom 1200 which uh, has a stage one on it. And then we've got Anna's Iron 83, which also has a stage one on it. All right, so just going over power numbers before we get on the ride. So what we're gonna do today, guys, is we're gonna all get on the bikes. We're gonna ride up Binion. We're gonna find some spots, pull over, switch around, and then we're gonna end at a brewery to enjoy some delicious cold beverages because it is hot out today <laughs> just to go over basically what has what power and then at the very end we're going to get everybody's feedback on each of the bikes we'll start with captain anna's harley davidson iron 83 with the stage one it's got uh, arlen s air cleaner vance and heinz tuner right fp3 basani sweepers she's got a done up club style with the memphis shades fairing on the front i know you guys are going to ask lots of questions about that link in the description below link on the bars in the description below link on the bags everything in the description below <laughs> Anna is now part of the club where people are like, what bars are those? What fairing is that? What bag is that? What seat is that? She's one person and there is like hundreds of thousands of you guys out there. So check out the links. So Anna's Harley Davidson Sports are here with the uh, 883 Stage 1. We're looking at 52 horsepower and 51 torque. Next up, we've got Aaron Sleazy's bike, custom 1200 from Harley Davidson with the stage one. Arlen Ness, air cleaner on here, Vance and Heinz FP3 tuner, and then Vance and Heinz pipes, which are the big radiuses. We're looking at 70 horsepower, 71 foot pounds of torque. Next up, we've got the giveaway, which this is a, started as a Harley Davidson Iron 883, but as you guys know, if you didn't follow the giveaway, we basically built this into a stage four 1200 kit from SNS. It is called their SNS Hooligan kit, which includes cams, pistons, cylinders. Uh, we did a whole like build playlist on this. So if you guys are interested in checking that out, also links down below. So for this one, we were looking at 72.52 horsepower and 77.76 torque. And that's with, like I said, stage four, two to one exhaust from TBR, Roland Sands air cleaner and a Dynajet tuner. And this bike was tuned by Chris, sick wide glide on the dyno. So it has a custom tune for it. And and last but not least, we have my original sports through the start of the channel, our Harley Davidson Iron 83. We put a stage four hammer 1275 kit into it, which we went with 120 horsepower kit. Uh, we are currently setting at 111 horsepower, but on the way we're, you know, we're trying to get it to above 120 horsepower and we're currently setting at 112 horsepower and 88 foot pounds of torque for this one. It's got DND exhaust. I'm not even gonna list everything on this thing. It's too much links once again, down in the description below. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give Captain Anna dibs on which one to choose first. Yeah, it was <laughs> starting at the top. Anna's basically going from the lowest power to the highest power. Laurel, what's up next for you? So Laurel, just to give a background here, if you guys don't know, she does own a stage one Harley Davidson Iron 883, which pretty much looks like this one, but uh, taller bars, similar to Anna's. So she's used to pretty much like riding that one, like the power of that one. So you're right here, you actually chose this one. You got a little bit of experience with it, but we'll save the feedback for the very end so that we can kind of present it to everybody as one. Aphrodite. Okay, so you're choosing Aphrodite. My bike's name is F you Sportster <laughs> or OG, whichever one. <laughs> so Aaron, I assume that you're going to choose 1200 SNS Hooligan since the other options are your bike or. <laughs> yep. All right, cool. All right, and I will get on Aaron's bike. Alexis, that's your bike's name. Yeah. Uh, it's you just named it too, because the bars are like what? How do you? <laughs> David. 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 Ew. Ew, David. Ew, no, David. <laughs> and break. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say it's a noticeable power difference? <laughs> yes, sir. I need something to hold me in. 
Yeah, the seat doesn't uh, hold you in so well. No! <laughs> so, Laurel, that one should feel pretty similar to, uh, to your own bike, right? In terms of... It, it does. Um, I would just say, like, I really like these bars that she has. Um, they just make it a little easier to turn. It's a little higher, so it uh, tilts over a little, a little easier. Well, maybe it's just the fact that my hands are actually, like, a little further apart. So I can kind of, like, press and lean easier right behind. in terms of ergonomics Aaron you are very much the opposite direction of your bike which is the bike that I'm on now <laughs> yeah. how do you feel <laughs> I mean I feel weird just because uh, you know I'm not used to it but uh, I mean I can mid controls and you know club bars it just feels very nimble like you're you're in tune with it or in the bike yeah do this for uh, hundreds of miles now your bike is definitely set up a lot better for hundreds of miles. You know, taller yeah. bars, forward controls, it's very comfortable. You're kind of going the opposite direction in terms of the ergonomics with that one, but in terms of power, you're actually switching over to a bike that is very similar to yours. So this one we're looking at like 70 horsepower, that one you're looking at like 73 horsepower, so not a huge difference. Yeah. I would assume like if you get on it, it's going to feel pretty much the same. Yeah. The other thing on this one is um, she's got mids where I have forwards, so it's e it's a little easier to kind of squeeze because like squeeze my thighs in on the tank. Right. Yeah, I feel like with the drag bars, it, it makes you feel way more in touch with the bike. Yeah. But the sacrifice is long-term comfort. Since you're lower to the ground, it definitely feels like you're going faster. You just feel like a little more in touch. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was a little easier to take the turns on that one. Yeah, it definitely is. Right off, the bat. right off the bat, I was like, oh. All right, Anna, thoughts on the Hammer Performance 1275 Q Sportster? I mean, as a good friend, I have to let you know that it's kind of sh so I'll just take it off your hands if you want. <laughs> 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 it's you're, badass. <laughs> you're such a good friend. Thank you for doing that for me. I really appreciate it. Take one that. for the team. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, dude, it's dope. It just, you know, it goes where you want it to go. And the bike just wants to go. <laughs> yeah. And all you can say is yes. <laughs> the only thing is that clutch is a... <laughs> yeah, definitely got to look after that clutch. Can be kind of a pain. Aaron, thoughts on the SNS 1200 <laughs> Hooligan? <laughs> Dude, there's so many to keep up with. Man, I like it. I mean, it's obviously completely different than my bike as far as ergonomics and everything. In a way, it was it was a nice change of pace. Um, like I said, you definitely feel like you're in the bike with the mids and the, the drag style bars for a zippy round town bike, man. Yeah. That's that's what you want. Power wise, though, pretty much. Oops. It's Yeah, it's very similar. Could you feel a difference in the torque with the cams? It feels great, man. It feels really good. Sweet. I like it. He's gonna he's gonna really enjoy it. He seems very excited to uh, to receive it. So congrats to Lloyd. Laurel, what'd you think of you Anna's? Want very you similar to mine. Plus, I just got a new saddleman seat, oh, like yeah. Anna. So awesome. Um, biggest changes is so mine has forwards, which I like because I'm taller, so yep. it's more comfortable on my legs. But because she's got mids and. Um, mine sticks out further here, so it's harder for me to like really squeeze on my tank So with hers I was able to like just feel more comfortable squeezing, yeah. And I was like that's nice and I like her bars because they're not too low not too high So yeah, You're... just a little bit of a different ride, but it was really comfortable. You're 510, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and how tall are you? 5'6 five, 5'6 six. Five, six. Aaron? 5'10 five, and a half <laughs> but like even <laughs> even with me 510 i think i could totally have her bike and be co pretty comfortable on it regularly and i'm sure like if um because i've been wanting to put um my crash bars up front like the bunking you know crash bars yeah so having that to be uh, able to stretch your, your leg now oh know, yeah rest like, yeah. both worlds in addition to the power differences the ergonomic differences so for those of you out there that are considering different bars for sportsters or how to build them out one of the awesome things about this bike is that you can take it in so many different directions. Mm -hmm. All right, so next. So Anna got to pick first. You were second. You were third. So let's let you pick first this time. Well, let's give it to Laurel. Yeah, Laurel. All right, let's give it to Laurel. Uh, jump on Aaron's bike. All right, Laurel taking the custom 1200. Anna, what's up next? I'll do one? this one. SNS 1200. Aaron. I'll do that one because that's my wife's bike. I know. About <laughs> 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 that one's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Aaron on the Q Sportster. And I'm on Captain Anna's Aphrodite. Oh man, there is a 
noticeable difference between the 1200 and the 883. <laughs> well, Laurel, how do you feel with the uh, huge ergonomic change and stepping up from an 883 Stage 1 to a 1200 Stage 1? Yeah, it's just comfortable, like you guys were saying. <laughs> uh, the sitting up higher feels more like cozy cruising. Yeah, like you could sit like that for a couple hours. Totally. Yeah. Just because my back is more straight. Yeah. You get that lower back support with that, that seat. Yeah. The pegs are in a good location. Hey! So Aaron, you're on the Q Sports there. Anna, you want to let him in the front so he can get a good pull on that thing? Yeah, go ahead. And he's off! <laughs> no catching him. Not with any of the rest of these bikes anyways. How you feeling on the uh, SNS 1200? It feels great. You know, definitely peppier than my 883. I don't know, sometimes it's hard to gauge the difference when you just hop off of one and hop on the other, like fully gauge it. But to me, it, it even though it's, you know, this is like a 1250 and that's a 1275, that one just seems so much more like explosive, I think. Right. It's like way more responsive yeah. on the throttle. Yeah. <laughs> Explosive is a good word. It wants to go, man. And yeah. it, uh, you pull back on it, it'll respond. Mm -hmm. So noticeable difference between like your 1200 and that uh, 1275? I noticed a little bit of, uh, a little bit more power for sure. Plus I don't know where I'm turning, so. <laughs> All right, I think we pretty much got feedback during the ride for that one real quick. We'll do like more in depth at the very end over some beers cause we're standing in sun right here. So you, you're on Anna's now, Anna's on Aaron's, and Laurel, you are on 1275 Hammer F*** You Sportster. Got my hands stretched out. <laughs> yeah, drag bars and mid controls. I feel like I'm on a squatty potty. <laughs> that's, okay, that's exactly how I felt. <laughs> <laughs> that very fitting, you're like, Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm about to take a great dump. <laughs> It really is a trade-off, you know, it's like you're you're definitely going for more of an aesthetic and the trade-off is comfort. But hey man, it's, it's part of the game, right? Alright Aaron, how you feeling on the uh, 883 Stage 1 as compared to your normal 1200 Stage 1 or 1275 or the 1200 SNS? It's been a while since I've ridden my wife's bike and with these bars, mid controls, Stage 1, like, I'm, pretty, I'm still really comfortable on this. Yep. It is. And, uh, the bike is really comfy. Honestly, I'm kind of jealous of my wife's bike right now. <laughs> <laughs> and the Memphis shades. Doing work. <laughs> Chef's kiss, all right. Thank you. <laughs> In terms of uh, power, comparatively? And I can feel a little difference between the 883 Stage 1 and the, and the 1200 Stage 1, but honestly, man, it, it, it ain't a whole lot. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's all still fairly similar, except for the one up front. <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason they would keep it up front. <laughs> yeah. Just in case the person wants to go. <laughs> Alright, Anna, how you feeling on uh, Aaron's 1200? So, like he said, it's it, it's been a while since we switched bikes. I think the uh, putting the stage one on it made it a lot better um, than previously. You can swap over. Yeah. Aaron, if you want to swap back. sucks. I'm, like, stance-wise, I'm personally not a fan of, like, the uh, apes and the forwards because it just to me it's like a very open stance and I don't feel like as in control of the bike so I have like a little bit more of a closed stance on this one yeah yeah because at least with this one I have mids yeah and I don't know maybe I'd feel differently if I had mids on this one there he goes <laughs> bless me <laughs> So, for those of you watching that don't know, but whenever you upgrade the power to a motorcycle, you actually have to upgrade the clutch so that that power goes from the engine to the transmission. Because a lot of times it's not strong enough and the clutch will slip, which will cause it to burn out. And so you have to upgrade the clutch, the clutch springs, the plates, all that stuff. And whenever you do that, it makes the clutch lever harder to pull back. Now there are ways to uh, offset that with like easy pull levers. It's not something that I've done on either one of these bikes. I will definitely be researching it on mine. Aaron, get it, get it, get it. There you go. Oh man, the 1200 SNS Hooligan feels so good. I'm, I'm stoked for Lloyd getting this bike. It feels very smooth, the yeah. uh, SNS. 
Yeah, whereas the 1275 hammer, like, it just feels scrappy as hell. Yeah, like, it wants to fight, but that one is like... <laughs> It's a pleasant ride. So the uh, the 1275 hammer wants to throw hands. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas the SNS 1200 hooligan. It's just here for a good time, you know? Yeah. It's, just, it's a little more laid back. It'll fight if it has to, but it's it's just a little more like, hey, man, like, I'm just here for fun. <laughs> just here to party. If we if you want. We don't have to if you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the hammer's like, let's go. <laughs> the hammer's that friend who's too hyped all the time, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Aaron, would you like to start since you rode the top of the top last and it's a, it's a beast. It's very responsive, man. You're like you, you pull back on it, it's it goes. It's a lot of fun. Just might need a a different seat, you know? Yeah. Because uh, you, you'll slide off a little bit. Yeah. I think that's part of the reason that I was having a because I, I tried to get on it a bit, like when we had some straight ways, but it was it'd be like oh, yeah. oh god. You gotta grab those bars, man. Yeah, I, uh, I ended up getting on it one time and I came off the back of the seat and I was hanging onto the grips by my fingertips, <laughs> which doesn't work too well because that means you're pulling the uh, throttle back even more. Yeah. And so if you try to pull Skirt. yourself up, you basically pull the <laughs> throttle back more. Yeah, it doesn't work out so well. What about just like overall comparison, power, ergonomics regarding like the rest of the bikes? Uh, so as far as power, um, the only one I really noticed a difference was the, the hammer. Um, I mean, once, once you get a stage one that's properly tuned in the 883 or 1200. I mean, they're they're pretty comparable. Um, unless you're doing a dyno or you're getting on the track, I mean, then you'll see some differences. But yeah, just just riding them. I mean, they, they feel about the same, and they're a lot of fun. Um, as far as ergonomics, my bike is the way that it is, and it's comfortable, and it's completely different than the other the other three. Like I said, it's been a while since I was on her bike. And, Again, I'm always surprised at how just comfortable and and sweet that and sexy red thing is. Mm -hmm. So as far as power goes, my favorite one was um, the Hammer, of course, the OG. Just it wants to go. It goes. You don't even <laughs> like goes. you just look at it and it's like, Meow. yeah. Would I take it for like a long ride? Probably not. It would be a little uncomfortable, but like. We're zipping around to Such the local awesome. brewery. Yeah. Go, yeah. Under, go into your local brewery as fast as you can. <laughs> as fast as you can. Um, and the stance too, I thought was really, really comfortable. Like it definitely, like the curves were no big deal. But the SNS is like a comfortable power, and so like I would just based on the amount I rode today, I would highly think about doing that to my own bike. I know I could just take that and like go for a ride, go for a long ride, ride at the beach, whatever. Um, and I'd be comfortable with that, that amount of power because it's not just like, let's go, let's go, let's go. I like his bike. I personally wouldn't own like the same exact like configuration um, just because it's not comfortable for me personally. Um, but it is a much more comfortable, you know, like you're just chilling, good power. And so power wise, I would say like the OG, the SNS, and then between like mine and Aaron's, I would just go with mine because I prefer it the way it is. Um, and then comfort wise, mine. <laughs> uh, I didn't like the configuration on the SNS with like the mids and the drag because it feels like you're sitting on this body potty. <laughs> so that's where I'm gonna hop in. I was more comfortable with the drags and mids than I was with really? the drags and forwards. I was not. I, I, I don't much I don't know why. The forwards, really. like, I just I felt more. <laughs> I don't want to say more in control, but I just I felt more in tune with the bike. Yeah, guess, mid mids say. definitely give you that feeling. Yeah, and I and I don't have mids, so maybe that's why I'm not used to that feeling. Um, so maybe if I'm used to mids and I put drag bars on, I prefer the forwards. But leaning a motorcycle with drag bars and then leaning a motorcycle with apes, totally different. Totally different. Mm -hmm. um, so again, that was like complete opposite for me. Um, but it was enjoyable. It was enjoyable. I had a good time. Sure. I like him. Laurel, overall thoughts? Um, my favorite to ride was the SNS, is that what you're calling it? Yeah, the SNS 1200. I thought it was the easiest to take turns in out of all of them. Mm -hmm. And I'm not used to that because I think with my bike, with the Z bars, sometimes I struggle with that. And that was just kind of nice today to just feel all these other ones and like, wow, it could be a little bit easier to take turns in a different bike. So, and I, 
even though I wouldn't want it for a long ride, kind of sitting forward like that and being closer to the bike and closer to the ground, it was like more comfortable to lean. Mm -hmm. So I almost wish I could have some time to really ride on that for a little bit and then get even more comfortable into turns and then go back to my bike. Mm -hmm. So that was my favorite. Anna's is super comfortable. And also her um, clutch and throttle, like I was shifting easier than on mine. So I'm kind yeah, of wondering I, if I, I want to tune like mine. Clutch was like aftermarket. It's not. Because it's like, it's, it I don't know much, what it is about that. It was I don't much know if it was easier for me to shift gears on your bike than on mine. Yeah. Like I was doing it more smoothly and like I'm clutch. obviously a newer rider. I don't really love going super fast yet, but it was cool to feel it just from taking off from a complete stop and pulling back on it. It like just how quickly it revved up, but it wasn't scary. Like it didn't like, you know, right. make you throw back or anything. I it was it. just like, but that was fun just to feel like, oh, that's what that could feel like if my bike would actually right. take off a lot faster, <laughs> so. It's, it's there if you want it. Yeah. It's like you don't have to use it. But I yeah. feel like with the, the Hammer 1275, it's kind of like y'all were saying, it's like it feels like it's, it wants to fight. Yeah. Whereas the SNS is like, I mean, I'll fight if I have to. And it'll, yeah. you know, it'll be able to hold its own. <laughs> the Hammer is definitely like, let's go, let's go, let's go. Like, you're like calm down, bro. If the OG were a prof professional wrestler, it would be Randy Savage. <laughs> <laughs> Scream of the crop. <laughs> cream always rises to the top. Because they can't handle the macho man Randy Savage. The cream of the crop. Nobody does it better. I think my favorite thing today about today's ride and video is just getting to see the different configurations. Like even, okay, two of them have drag bars, but one has forwards and one has mids and like that. Just that changes the ride, you yeah. know, and like being able to see what just the versatility of sportsers and what you can do with them based on your you know preference and i think this is actually this the is first time that you've ridden multiple other bikes besides you started on mine and yes. then you got yours yes big like growth day for me so. yeah all right yeah hey, hey. And it's her birthday, so you guys nervous. be sure to wish Laurel a happy birthday. happy birthday. All right, guys, back in the garage. Everybody's headed back home, but there you have it, the comparison of the Harley-Davidson Sportsters. So they all started out as 883s and all became, you know, either stage one or stage fours. But the biggest thing that people were talking about, not really with these two, was uh, the ergonomics. So, you know, this one has the drag bars, but the mids, that one has the drag bars, but the forwards, and then Aaron's custom 1200 had the apes and the forwards, and then Anna's had like the taller bars, kind of like these ones and the mids and so each one of them felt a little differently everybody commented about the ergonomics so that should give you guys an idea if you're considering a sportster you know kind of what direction you might want to go based on your height i'll just go ahead and throw this in there because i know y'all are going to ask but this is a sportster that we're working on that we're going to turn into a chopper that we're not really filming yet we will start filming it though so don't go crazy on me just yet please but yeah i hope it was insightful guys once again i'll post all the results of like the power numbers and stuff but the power numbers don't make an absolute huge amount of difference in feel uh, unless you're doing something like you know the 1275 100 plus horsepower kit this one's setting at 111 as you guys could tell by the video a lot of people like did notice the power on this one saying it was pretty much scrappy feeling and ready to go this one was a little bit more manageable but the power is still there the 1200 felt responsive and then the 883 was definitely a little bit more uh, obviously tame, uh, not quite as responsive. Anyways, this bike is being shipped to the winner, Lloyd, tomorrow. So that's why I wanted to get this video recorded today. By the time you guys see this video, he will have already received it. And that was for the season five of the Blockhead Bike Giveaway. We also gave away an Indian Scout, which Michael received that one. Here's a picture of him right here. And the other winner, which was the Yamaha Bolt, was Will. And he's actually in the Marines. Uh, no picture of him with the bike yet, but his mom accepted the bike on his behalf. So those are all the winners for season five. So for season six, we're giving away this brand new 2021 Harley Davidson Road Glide, which we are modifying it. It's gonna get custom paint, powder, uh, finish, engine work. We've got a couple more videos that we wanna make on it while it's still stock, and then we're gonna start modifying it out very soon. You guys are gonna be seeing lots of videos on this one. I know it seems like we're behind, but we've got parts on the way. We've got a painter lined up. We've got styles, paint, all that stuff picked out. We're also giving away the uh, Honda RC51 V-Twin Super Sport. If you guys want to enter to try to win one of those, head over to blockheadmoto.com, sign up and select tier and you are entered. You also get additional perks like access to the Discord server, early access to videos, big discounts at the shop, and more. 
Hope you guys have enjoyed this one though. If you have any questions, be sure to post them up down in the comments below. Let me know. If you guys enjoyed it, do me a favor, hit that like button. Hitting that like button helps us out a lot. Let's YouTube know that we're doing a good job here. Recommends the videos to other people and whatnot. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to hit subscribe. Hit the bell icon also so it sends you notifications of future uploads and activity. Until next time, ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. Catch you guys on the next one. Peace.